Hello Intune friends, in this video we're going to look how to run scripts on Mac OS managed in Intune, so called bash script. So I'm here in intune.microsoft.com. If I go devices, then under Mac OS, and we have in previous video go thrown, uh, gone through a lot of these, and now we have shell scripts that we haven't looked at. So here you can run the script. So you can just add and run script and do a lot of fun stuff. Um, I'm gonna in this video gonna run a script to download a wallpaper from uh, Bing, and then set. Then we're gonna create a configuration profile that set this automatically. There are a lot of scripts, and I'm gonna put them in. Um, there's some sample. I'm gonna put them in the description of this video. So it's this URL here on uh, GitHub. So you find that in the description again of this video. So if you go here, you you have for Windows here as well. Uh, no, uh, Linux, but we go for Mac OS here. And we want, you actually have custom attributes, the video previously that we did. So you have a, well, let, let's quickly look here. You have a lot of interesting things that we could use as well. But let's, I wanted to go for config here. And here you have a lot of config as well. So I wanted the wallpaper. So here we have two things. We have the shell script that we're gonna add to where we just were here. And we also have a mobile config, a configuration profile. So let's start with a the script then. So I click on this one. So here's the script. We can look uh, quickly what it does. So it's going to download uh, uh, a file. Then it's going to put it on the um, root library desktop. Then it's going to name it wallpaper.jpg. So it's always going to be this name. So our config profile later can use it. Uh, then it is some logging, logging. Uh, well, th these are just variable. So here it's actually where it download it. So it's gonna go down on the internet and uh, download this. Uh, where it? Oh, actually here it's actually where it's doing it. So it's taking the URL and where to put it and all those uh, parameter we already have up here. Where to download, where to store it, and what it's to to be named. So let's uh, let's steal this one so we have it here I'm gonna do a uh, command a uh, command C and uh, let's uh, open up my favorite uh, text edit which is not my favorite but it works text edit uh, let's create a new one uh, I do a command V I paste this then remember go format make plain text uh, yes that's exactly what I want Perfect. And let's save this one so we can go file, save. Uh, on my desktop, let's uh, create a folder called scripts. Let's go in there. Oops, it looks like I saved it there with that name. It's not what I wanted. Well, now we need to duplicate it. Could rename it also. And now save this one. If you do correct from the beginning, that would be better. So we don't want the text extension. We want the something.sh. Uh, let's call this one download Bing wallpaper. And we save this one. So now we should have one. Uh, you know what? I don't like that I did a mistake there. So I go to my desktop, scripts. Uh, you are not a script, so I'm going to delete you, move you to the bin. So here we got our script. If I uh, press on the spacebar, we're going to see what it does. It's the same as we saw on the web page. So this alone is going to download the wallpaper. That's just going to download the wallpaper, so it's not doing so much more. So we will need to do some more things. I'm just going back here to the wallpaper because the next one we're going to download mobile config. But let's fix this first. So now we have the script, so let's add it. I'm going to call this download, is it all upper, being a uh, wallpaper, script to download, uh, being wallpaper to uh, library uh, desktop folder. Then we go next. Here we have a few settings though. First we have the script itself. So go script. 
I thought there was some more settings. Yes, down here. So here's the script. Run a sign in user. This is important to put yes if the script actually do something that has to do with the user profile, but no, it doesn't. Hide the script. Sure, we don't we can hide it. The user don't have to see it. Script frequency. How often should it run? I mean, we have all from 15 minutes to every week. I would guess every one day. I don't remember if it's written anywhere. Yeah, here's a description if they have any uh, recommendation. Every one day. Okay. So there was some recommendation here. Then uh, oh, three times. That's the maximum. Let's if it fails, it can give it some uh, extra retries. So we go next. I want this on all my Mac, so I'm going to do that uh, for all Mac devices. You could have a different wallpaper per, but uh, we already don't know which wallpaper this is going to be since Bing decided. So I should maybe, well, at the moment, just download the file, so that's fine. Okay. So it says not assigned as always. You need maybe to refresh and it's assigned. Can take some time. So I actually had to reboot my machine once to see, but we'll let it let it run for a while. Because we have a policy to set. Just to show what the wallpaper we have right now looks like. It uh, looks like this. So we see when something has changed, right? So the second part of this is to do a configuration profile. So now we have the script, it hasn't run yet, but when it run, it will have downloaded the wallpaper. So if we go back to Mac OS, we need a configuration profile and we have done a few of those before. So we need, let's go up here. We need a wallpaper mobile.config. So that's this file here, who actually says to take the wallpaper that is in, yes, under library desktop wallpaper jpeg so very important that that match the um, the script that download and it actually does so we do the same here i'll put raw i do command a command c to copy i take another text edit let's do a new one i'll uh, command v i'll do format again make plain text Yes, very much. And let's uh, save this one. So it's, I don't want it under scripts, scripts. Maybe let's create a new folder called the configuration uh, profiles. And let's see what we name this one. Uh, set the wallpaper, why not? Dot mobile config and we save this one so if we look in finder we should have this file uh, not under scripts under configuration profiles and when you name it mobile config you go here so this one's going to show up uh, under um, configuration profiles here okay so let's go back to our admin center i just want to go back here i prefer this this, I like this view here. So now we're gonna uh, upload it and it's just gonna be a custom setting for uh, uh, Microsoft, uh, Mac OS. And the value is basically to say that, hey, this is the wallpaper. How they call it wallpaper mobile config? Well, so we let's create the profile. Let's create the template again. Let's do a custom. Let's call this, uh, I'll call it, I forgot if I called the other, let's call it the uh, wallpaper set. Uh, set the wallpaper to the file under library, library desktop. Pretty short description there. Okay, so configuration profile name. Well, let's call it wallpaper then. Uh, let's deploy it to the device, not on the user, and let's browse our file. 
So I put it on the desktop, uh, configuration profiles, and here we go. So here we have the setting, perfect. We go next, assignment. Let's uh, add it to uh, all my Mac devices, all one of them, and go next. So this setting's probably gonna apply faster than the script. So wallpaper set, I should probably prefix it with the uh, uh, GBN, but that's done now. Well, I can rename it. Actually, let me do that. GBN, and then I call it set wallpaper. Up. Let's review and save. and refresh okay there we got it so i'm just gonna do a little uh, check status let's see if it's already showing up here no not yet i think it was six one before it's gonna show up here as the setting so it's we got oh seven settings is it the last one nope uh, it's the one called wallpaper, of course. So here it is, cell telling us that the picture path, it's going to be this one. Has it changed wallpaper? I think it has. That means the script have run also. Yep. So this file here comes from uh, Bing, this uh, desert place. So if we go to Finder, Let's go to the folder and verify that the file is there. So if we go folder, library, desktop, there is an image and yes, very much. This is the background image. So this is going to run every day and uh, there's going to be a new background every day. Okay, perfect. So we, we got to do another um, configuration profile also. But the most uh, for this video was that you can run script and you can have as many scripts as you want and whatever you want them to do and the frequency, how often they should run. And if you want some examples, uh, I send this uh, link here. You have enable one uh, drive finder sync. That's nice. You also have a Rosetta 2 if you're running uh, that's needed for um, silicon uh, CPU to run the Intel software Rosetta Stone which come from the Egypt to uh, which was found uh, 1799 in Egypt that had the three texts where they could uh, decipher the, uh, the Egypt. Uh, wallpaper is the one we've done enable um, screen sharing set time zone a lot of useful uh, if you want to uh, rename device so check them out if you want to run some more scripts but for this video we have managed to run a script successfully let's see if this one have captured up well it has clearly run it's just uh, intune haven't picked that up it's got going to show success there later so thank you very much see you in the next video have a great day